Okay, so this is a video that I've decided to post on the YouTube about the uh, Harbor Freight tools and tool cabinets. Wanted to give you guys a review here of my impression of this system here, this uh, the cabinets and tools. Uh, I decided to purchase this tool cabinet because I looked it over at Harbor Freight and thought the quality was really nice overall. And um, the cost on the cabinet was extremely reasonable. Um, I paid $189 and also had a 10% off coupon. So out the door, I was only out about 180 bucks for this cabinet. Um, the cabinet overall is, is really nice. Um, it's definitely on par most of, mostly with, you know, some of the name brand manufacturers. Um, the gauge of the steel, I believe it's a 14 gauge. Uh, it's definitely a nice thick steel. Uh, some of the other manufacturers, you know, cheaper Chinese manufacturers use a very, very thin gauge, like an 18 or 20 gauge steel. And uh, this cabin on their hand is 14. It's definitely the heavier ones that you'd see with the professional quality tool cabinets. Um, some things that I've noticed with this cabinet, it does use the roller uh, drawers. The roller ball bearing drawers. Uh, the drawers themselves do slide very well. They're nice and strong. They're not flimsy and weak and they slide out very smoothly. They do, when you put it right in there, it does lock in place and actually uh, uh, again it feels very smooth. It feels very well uh, manufactured. Uh, the wheels on the bottom of this cabinet, I don't know if I want to give you guys a really good picture of it, but they are a heavier caster. They are a greasable caster as well. There's actually a grease fitting on them, uh, which is helpful, helps them last longer. Certainly as long as you remember to grease them up. The cabin itself didn't need to be assembled. Um, uh, there was like 50 or 60 bolts that you had to put it together with. And uh, it took about an hour and a half, I'd say overall, to put it together. Uh, my only complaints about this cabin, uh, first of all, is just, uh, they're very minor complaints, is that I would have preferred them not to just have exposed fasteners here in the corners. Uh, they're exposed on every single corner of this cabinet. And I would just say, you know, it might have been nicer if they use a different type of bolt or, you know, just not have them exposed in there. Again, it's a minor concern, but it's a concern nonetheless. I've also noticed that the two locking mechanisms that are here in the back, this one on the right here does seem to get stuck. In fact, you see it's stuck right there. And I, whenever I open the lid here, I got to go ahead and pull it up, so that way the drawers open up here. I'm going to see if I can maybe shoot some oil down that or WD-40 to correct that problem. This one here on the end seems to move just fine, so it probably just needs to be oiled up. And um, let's see here. I'd say that's really my only complaint about this cabinet. Um, like I said, they're very minor complaints. I think that. Um, you know, when you think about how much uh, this cabinet would cost if it said Snap-on or some other manufacturer, uh, it'd probably be at least a thousand bucks, right? Uh, this cost, uh, you know, one fourth that or even less than that. And um, I definitely got a good value for my money here. Um, some other things I thought I'd point out since I'm on the subject of Harbor Freight. Um, I did buy some of the Harbor Freight tools too when I was. Uh, um, uh, making my purchase, I decided to buy their flexible, um, you know, their adjustable 3H ratchet handle. Um, it feels very nice. The, the, the tool itself feels very nice in my hand. It's a very comfortable grip. Um, it feels like a very solid product. And when I look it over, I mean, it's machined very well. There's no casting marks. It feels like a very smooth ratchet mechanism. I believe there's a 72 tooth. It's got a lifetime warranty on it as well, and they've insisted to me that if I ever broke it, uh, they don't care for whatever reason, they would just give me a brand new one, and that's a really nice guarantee. Uh, I've heard that even uh, you know some of the other name brand manufacturers, I don't want to keep naming names, but some of the other name brand manufacturers that allege a lifetime warranty do have limitations with their warranty, but it seems like for this uh, cheaper brand, they're willing to stand by it no matter what. Uh, that's been my impression so far. Uh, I've already exercised that warranty on some of the other tools. This wire stripper tool here, 
it says Pittsburgh on it. Again, it had a lifetime warranty. And I do a lot of um, work with this tool, and I can tell you that this tool here is every bit as, the, as good as a Klein brand electrician's tool. It feels just as fine. Uh, it strips very well. I got that tool for, I think, like 6 or $7. And um, after about a month or two, you know, just from everyday use, I wore it out. And um, I took it back to Harbor Freight and said, hey, you know, are you guys willing to warranty this? And they said, fine. They handed me a brand new one. Um, so that lifetime warranty, you know, it definitely stands for something with them. So some other Harbor Freight tools I bought, I did get a larger channel lock. Again, that channel lock there does feel every bit as good as the name brand channel lock. One thing that I'm a little concerned about though is this bolt mechanism can loosen up. So I'm probably going to take some red thread locker and just put that on there so it doesn't just loosen up on its own. But it's a solid tool. It does grip very well. It feels good in my hands. And uh, I bought a couple other things here that are not worth talking about right now. Uh, one thing I will show you is there was a defect with these pliers that I bought. If you look closely there, obviously the jaws aren't lined up at all. Uh, you can look at that. That's off there. This is crooked. Obviously that wasn't put together very well at all. So I'm going to take that back to Harbor Freight. And again, it's got a lifetime warranty on it, so I'm sure they'll just hand me another pair. Um, let's see here. I did get the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh screwdrivers as well. Again, that feels like a very good screwdriver to me, even though it's not a name brand high end one. Um, it does feel the grip here feels very comfortable in my hands. The um, steel is very high quality steel and it's got a magnetic tip on it too, which is very, very helpful. I got that screwdriver set there. This is their professional line. I got it for like $10, it was all. Uh, an extremely good value for the for what you're getting um, so I got that and um, I think that's all that's worth talking about right now I did buy a accessory here which was the paper towel holder it's like a magnetic bracket that just sticks to the side that was really handy and it was only about another 12 or 13 bucks so um, yeah I'd say uh, Overall, I'm very, very happy with my purchase here. Um, certainly, there are some tools that Harbor Freight uh, sells that I don't recommend at all because they're such incredibly poor quality. Uh, but they do have other stuff there that is an extremely good value. Uh, this cabinet is definitely a good example of that. Uh, their you know, hand tools, the ratchet handles, and stuff like that. That's, they got plenty of stuff there that's worth a uh, you know, professional taking a look at. So anyway, I hope that's helpful and you guys have a good day.